All right, friends, we're going to go through the welders that I bought and picked out for this class and this course, and we're going to show you the pros and cons, and I'm going to alleviate some headaches so that you guys don't have to go through the struggles that I went through trying to figure out these machines. So, first off, the Weld Pro 155 MIG. This is a Amazon welder I bought for $435. I don't recommend this welder. It gave me a lot of headaches, and as an experienced welder, I had headaches until I was welding and until I was done. It kept having issues to start when I was feeding the wire through. I had a really hard time feeding the wire through. The internal components aren't ideal in making it easy, so I found it wasn't easy. Um, the whip is also pretty short. I didn't necessarily like that. And we blew a breaker. There's an adapter from the 220 down to a 110. And instantly when I went from the 220 to the 110 and plugged it in, it popped the breaker. So you have to weld on a 220 with this, which it's not very common that a, a, a home has a 220 plug. And like I said, it welded really splotchy, kept popping on me. I kept changing the wire speed and the voltage and kept having issues. And I tried every setting you could. So I don't recommend this welder. The titanium 125 flux core. Great little welder. I was super impressed with how smooth it ran, um, how, it, how consistent the beads formed with it. And yeah, I was really impressed. This machine cost us about $253 after a one year warranty. So that's a benefit. I do have a warranty on this. If I have any issues, I could take it back. It's perfect for small repair jobs. It's definitely not a production based welder. I don't know how strong it would run day in and day out over an eight hour span. And so I do recommend this if you're just wanting to learn how to weld and do a couple maybe small repairs or small projects, it'll definitely work. And if you buy a warranty, if you do have issues with it, you could easily get it replaced. Moving over to the Millers. This is a Miller Matic 141. I have been really impressed with this welder. I've owned this one for probably about three or four years. We used it with field work out in the field, as well as when we first started production, this was the welder that we used. Great little machine. You could do flux core and gas metal arc welding. It's a great machine that I highly recommend. And then in the far corner, we have a Miller 252. So this is like a base production welder. All of our, all of our machines at our shop that we produce with that is what is being used day in and day out. You could weld hot and long with it for eight to 10 hours a day and I've never ever had an issue with them getting overheated or having issues with them. Also a couple other options. I've had a lot of Lincoln welders in the past and Lincoln is a great machine as well. I prefer Miller over Lincoln personally, but they do run pretty similar. They're a higher end welder and they work great. Also, I have seen and noticed that Home Depot rents welders. So if you're just wanting to kind of learn, you don't necessarily want to invest in a machine quite yet, you can go rent a welder for, fairly, for a fairly affordable price and you could start practicing and doing little projects. So that's my two cents on these welders. There are other welders out there. These are the ones that I got and that I have found to work for us and what we're doing. And I hope that helps you in your decision process as you are trying to figure out what welder works for you. There is definitely a big price jump. Like I said, I don't recommend this one, but this was $453. This was $250. When I bought this one a few years ago, I believe it was around $900. And then the 252s, I believe right now are around $3,300. So there is definitely a price jump. There are welders in between each of these that you could choose from, but these are the ones that I recommend. Um, I am not endorsed by any of these. These are just 
what I have found to work for me and what I do. So check these out. If you have any questions, go to our Facebook group page and I can answer any further questions that you might have on these.